This is Imperialism in UFC 5, but this time is a steroid edition. Let me tell you how it works. This is a steroid island. Each fire is dope, meaning each fire has a 20% damage and a stamina bonus. If a fire is selected by the spinning wheel, he must attack in the direction that this arrow decides. The fighter who wins will get an extra 5% of damage and will get the territory of the fighter who lost. The one who gets all the territory will be the winner. The first to attack will be Alex Pereira and he will move to the north where he will invade John Jones. Let's see what happens. Alright, so here we go with this highly anticipated That's exactly what he does. He Come. pulls the front kick and he has learned masterfully. Uh. Alex Pereira knocks out John Jones with a head kick and takes his land and gets 5 plus damage. Shama. The next to attack will be GSP and he will move to the north, invading Sean O'Malley. Let's see what happens. Length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if GSP defeats Sean O'Malley with a right hand and takes his land and gets his bonus. And now is the turn of the legend Kevin Randleman. He must move southeast and he will attack Dustin Poirier. Let's see what happens. Kevin Randleman knocks out Dustin Poirier in the first round, take his land and gets 5 plus damage. Now it's Charles Oliveira turn and he will move southeast again to invade the legend Bas Rutten. Bass would break Charles Oliveira's legs, spend his land, and take his bonus. That's a lot of power there, right at We use the spinning wheel, and now Chimaev must attack, and he will move to the east, invading Conor McGregor. Let's see what happens. Stop, bro. If you like this kind of content, I will be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel. And now let's continue with the video. Conor McGregor knocks out Hamza Chimaev in the second round to take away his territory and get 5 plus damage. 
Tom not me. Wait, Tom Bell, not me. I'm not on no steroids. What, you, what the fuck are you talking about? The next to attack will be Habib Nurmagomedov, and he has no choice. He will have to face his only neighbor, Bas Rudin. Look at those leg kicks. Bas Rudin knocks out Habib Nurmagomedov in a spectacular way and is probably the craziest knockout in the history of this channel. Oh. I don't, I don't think Bas takes more territory and has 10 plus damage. The next to fight will be Anderson the Spider Silva and he will move to the east where he will face Justin the Highlight Gaethje. Anderson the Spider Silva knocks out Justin Gaethje in a beautiful fight and expands his territory and gets 5 plus damage. And now it's GSP turn again and he will move to the west, this time invading Poatan Pereira. Let's see what happens. Tom Pereira on a steroid is a savage. He keeps spending his territory and gets 10 plus damage. We will spin again and now it's the turn of Paddy the Body, who will move to the west, so he will have to invade Islam Mahachev. Let's see what happens. Islam Mahachev destroys Paddy the Body with an uppercut and takes away his territory and has 5 plus damage. The next to fight will be Kevin Randleman and he will move east, where he will face Bas Rudin in a heavyweight matchup. Bas Rudin takes out the legend Kevin Randleman with a head kick, take his land and get more steroids. We will spin again and it's the turn of Islam Mahachev again. And now he must move to the east where he will invade Israel Adesanya. Israel 
Sanja simply destroyed Islam Mahachev, takes away his territory and obtains 5 plus damage. The next to attack will be the featherweight champion Ilya Topuria and he will move to the south and invade Israel at the Sanja. Let's see what happens. Round one, we'll see if he can use that jab. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. That's the guy that's going for Oh! Israel out of Sanya's cheek looks like it's coming. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Ilya Topuria landed many shots to Adesanya's body and knocked him out in the second round, expand his territory and receive the damage bonus. The next fighter to attack will be Max Holloway and he will move south where he will invade Anderson the Spider Silva. Anderson Silva knocks out Max Holloway with a beautiful head kick and expands his territory and wins 10 plus damage. We spin the wheel again and it's the turn of Ilya Topuria again and he will move southwest where he will face Conor McGregor. Let's see what happens. Conor McGregor knocks out Ilya Topuria with a high kick to take his territory and the 10 plus damage. There are only 4 fighters left and it's Bas in turn and he will move to the southwest to face Conor McGregor. Let's see what happens. Bass Rudin destroyed Conor McGregor with an uppercut, takes a lot of territory and now has even more steroids. Whoa, 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 what a commotion! What's going on? Now there are only three fighters left and Alex Pereira will invade Bass Rudin. Pereira has 10 plus damage and Bass Rudin has 15 plus damage. Let's see what happens. Alex Pereira eliminates the legend Bas Rudin, takes almost all the territory with 15 plus damage. And now we will see the final fight between Brazilians with Anderson Silva and Alex Pereira. Let's see who will be the king of the steroid island. Come on. 
just missed it. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. Straight right. Oh. He's hurt bad. Really badly. Oh. Alex Pereira knocks out Anderson Silva with a right hook to become the king of the steroid island.